Hi, everybody. Happy Thursday. It's Girl Talk Live. I have a special guest that will be joining me here shortly. And we are going to be talking about something that's very near and dear to my heart, periods. <laughs> we are going to be talking about the menstrual cycle today and how we can sync with it and be aligned and also um, support our bodies naturally. So I have a special guest that's joining me. Today, how, how are, are she you? Is. Hey, doing good. good. How are you? Good. Oh, you yeah, have your is that tea? <laughs> Oh, I love it. Okay, guys, <laughs> we have a problem. We have a problem. It's called my phone is about my battery is about to die. <laughs> Kaylee, everybody, give me <laughs> okay, give me two minutes. Give me two minutes. Will you talk to the people sure. while I go find my charger? <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> uh, my name is Kaylee. Um, just a little something about me. I am an integrative nutrition health coach. I went to um, the Institute of Integrative Nutrition. So that's where I got, got my certification. Um, I focus a lot on women's health, particularly, particularly hormone hormone health and menstrual health. Um, <laughs> I focus a lot on cycle syncing. And so what that means is basically, as women, our bodies run on a 28 day clock, in comparison to men who run on a 24 hour clock. So what that means is we cycle through our hormones every 28 days while men cycle through their hormones every 24 hours. And so I kind of help women align their habits, their lifestyle, according to the menstrual cycle. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for buying me a couple of minutes. Every time, I, <laughs> every time I go live, I'm like, oh, I forgot my headset. Oh, got my charger. <laughs> okay. So we know what, what you do, but I got to tell everybody how we met because I still feel like it's such a hilarious story. So <laughs> we were um, flying into Utah in September for the leadership, no, for a retreat, for convention, for doTERRA's annual convention. And um, before I got on the plane, I texted my friend, my friend Sandy, and I was like, hey, do you know any Uber drivers? Like, we're going to need Ubers all week. And I would rather it be someone that I know, you know, someone who shares my faith, right? So I, I sent uh, Sandy that message. And by the time we landed, I had gotten a series of, of text of message from her saying, like, I actually do know someone. And she sent me his number. As we were like, the plane was landing and we could turn our phones back on. I texted him and I was like, hey, could you pick us up from the airport? And he was like, yep, <laughs> I'm on my way. 20 minutes later. Actually, it was longer than that. He was very kind to wait for us. It took us a minute, and then we needed coffee and all the jazz, all that jazz. Um, his name was Tony. He was <laughs> the best Uber driver ever, and he's cracking us up, and we had so much fun with him. And he's like, you got to meet my wife. <laughs> so we all, we all went to dinner the next night. I think it was a whole production trying to get dinner arranged in the midst of all of that. And his wife is Kaylee. That is how Kaylee and I met. I, I love know, that story. It's a really cool one. <laughs> hey, we, I know. It's pretty funny. So we, we spent a lot of time together out in Utah. They took us around and um, took really, really, really good care of us. So I can't wait to see you guys next time we're, we're in town. Um, okay. So that's how we met. And she started sharing what she does um, and what she's been studying. And it was very... Uh, close to my heart. So some of you started following me when I very first started with doTERRA. And one of the first oils that I used to talk about all the time was Clary Calm. Because, yeah. have you tried Clary Calm yet, Kaylee? Okay. Because, yes, that's, that's like, that was one of my first oils that I started with. Because what even piqued my interest about doTERRA was I was at an event and someone was using Clary Calm instead of ibuprofen. And I was like, what are you doing? What are you even doing? And she's like, oh, yeah, I use this oil, and, and it calms, my, calms down my cramps, and it's, it's great. I'm like, I don't even know what you're talking about. 
how is that even possible? And I'm like, how do you use it? She's like, I roll it over my stomach. I roll it over my back. And I don't need ibuprofen. And I was floored because I started my cycle when I was 15. And I wanted it so bad. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why. But I did. And I, Kaylee, I would be so sick. I mean, I would um, vomit uncontrollably to the point of dehydration. Um, I, and I would, I would have such intense cramps. So I would be, every time, it wasn't regular. It wasn't consistent when I first started. But I, it was so bad that I would be hospitalized every time my cycle yeah. came. It was horrible. And, you know, I would miss, like, every time it came, I'd miss, like, two weeks of school. So you do the math of how much school I missed, right? And, you know, the doctors were <clears> like, well, we don't know what to do. We don't know what to do. Um, but this is not sustainable. So here's, here was what they suggested. This is what they suggested. We're going to, the, like, right before her cycle starts, like, you know, there's all the signs when your cycle starting, right? Right before your cycle starts, bring her to the hospital, and we're going to give her a <laughs> shot in her butt. <laughs> and that shot is going to knock her out for 24 hours. She'll just sleep for 24 hours. And then she'll be done with the worst part of it. And that's what we did. How? It's not even sustainable. So, but I'd go and get this, <laughs> I'd go and get this booty shot. And by the time I was like in the elevator from leaving, I'd started to like, and that's, that, that was the plan. And so eventually my parents were like, this is not sustainable. So they were like, the only other thing we can do is put her on birth control. So I got on birth control at 15. I know, I know. And I stayed on birth control for 25 years, 25 years of birth control. Um, we won't talk about all of the issues that came along with that. We won't, we, there's not enough time. But I will tell you, so when, when she told me that even with birth control, I would still have bad, bad cramps, right? Um, and I, I would take four ibuprofen every four hours. That's how I managed it. And I knew that wasn't good or healthy. But I didn't have an option. What, what my life's going to stop every month, right? So when she said she used this oil, I was like, well, let me, I need that oil. So I tracked down a doTERRA, like stalked a doTERRA person. Um, I, then I found out all the things that oils do. And I got everything but Clary Calm, which I think is funny. She gifted me the Clary Calm. I started on this whole regimen. And I mean, my cycles were night and day. It was like nothing even happened. Um, I, I, like it was like just a normal day, which has never happened for me before. And so then I was like, this is working so well. Maybe I can come off of birth control because that was the whole big thing in my household. My husband was like, that yeah. can't be good. 25 years. And so um, I talked to my doctor. I was a lot of conversations with my doctor and some other like healthcare practitioners that I was working with. And I came off of birth control and it has been four years <laughs> I think it's four years this month I believe it's been <clears throat> four years this month and um, I use I actually don't use Clearcom as much as I used to I, I use um there's a supplement that doTERRA yeah. has called phytoestrogen and I take two phytoestrogen every day every single day I do not miss it I don't care what I have to do it's always in my life I've made some other lifestyle changes um but that was my story like broken down it was a whole big event every time it was my cycle. So it, it just has such a negative connotation to me. In fact, when I was young, I would, no kidding, if I saw like a tampon or a pad commercial come on, I would oh. literally throw up because I was so, my body was so conditioned to cycle. Yeah, it's horror. Trauma. You're like reliving trauma. <laughs> yeah. That's trauma. Awful. Trauma. So it took years for, it's, it was horrible. And to be so young, you know? Um, dealing with that. So then I heard about this concept of cycle thinking, because I'm still very aware of my hormones and all the things that happen. And I thought the I, the first person I heard about it, she actually was targeting um, entrepreneurs. She was teaching entrepreneurs how to align their work with what their body is naturally going through. And I thought, man, that yeah. is absolutely brilliant. Yeah. And I want to know more. So <laughs> So that so that's what what endeared me to you. Yeah, oh, that. Well, yeah, that is quite a story. I mean, I am so sorry. And yeah. and the sad thing is that as women, we all kind of have like 
similar traumatic stories around our periods because we're told at the end of the day like mm -hmm. oh it's just a part of being a woman and and then coming off birth control there's so many so many things going on with birth control and how it is actually not fixing our hormones like we thought it is and it's so sad because when we get off our hormones mm -hmm. we're like oh or when we got off birth control we're like why do I still have these problems like the the band-aid solutions mm -hmm. aren't working kind of a thing um yeah right. similar with me um mm -hmm. I had period problems like I started my period when I was 13 and then <clears throat> I just have a lot of pain and cramping and you know it's just one of those things like my mom would tell me like hey that's just a part of the game you know you, you just rest you stay home you take your ibuprofen and you're good um it wasn't until probably about like four years ago I was like newly newly married and I started noticing I was having a lot of hormonal issues as well as my periods were getting worse and there was like I, I just didn't know what was happening with me like I just felt like I wasn't in control of my body it was such a weird feeling and um I came across a friend and she was also a health coach and she actually focused on intermittent fasting and I was talking to her and she had a holistic approach and the thing with her even though like she's she like focused on intermittent fasting she helped me like get so curious about myself what my body was doing and look more deeply into like okay what is your cycle doing what does this mean and then I like went through all sorts of rabbit holes and I was like okay women need to know about their cycles um I think if there is one fact that we all need to know like it is it is now like a proven thing that your menstrual cycle is part of your vital signs so just as important as breathing <laughs> you know mm. if that's how important it is to be in touch with our cycle yeah. and um doctors whether they're functional doctors or holistic doctors they're actually supposed to teach us women how to pay attention to our cycle and um fortunately i haven't seen that quite yet it is a new development <laughs> within the medical <laughs> scene, but um th yeah. that is a part of what they're supposed to do so yeah. maybe one day we'll yeah. we'll get and there so, yeah. Not and so for me personally, yet. I loved cycle thinking. I love the aspect of aligning our nutritional needs to meet the ebb and flow of our hormones throughout our cycle. Um, even movement, like I had very, like growing up, I had very disordered eating and a really weird relationship with movement and exercise. It was just, there was so much guilt around it and just striving for perfection. And I couldn't understand when my body would be like, no, <laughs> when you're on your period, you don't want to do that hit exercise or like, um, mm -hmm. I don't know, when a week mm -hmm. before your period, when you, your body is needing actually more carbs, um, even though like, I didn't know exactly what kind of carbs at the time, I just knew I needed carbs. So what that looked like to me was, oh, I'm binging on food. And so like, not understanding your body, there was so much guilt. So... <laughs> It's very, mm -hmm. yeah, it's yeah, very, that makes sense. when you start cycle thinking and living in tune with your menstrual cycle, it's like a whole other uh, form of self-love and self-acceptance of just literally mm. going with the flow, like no pun intended, like, yeah. Like <laughs> you literally. Just, you're, you're going through <laughs> the flow of your hormones and what they're doing. And um, when you are learning about yourself, it just... I don't know. You just feel better. You're like, okay, like my body's doing what it's supposed to do. I am like wonderfully made. I just, I feel so good about it. Kind of a feeling. It's, it sounds very empower, empowering. I can never pronounce that word. Um, you know, cause you feel, I would, I, I imagine I haven't done this yet. I'm very, I'm very curious about living in sync. Um, because it seems like you, you you know what to expect. You know that your body is doing what it should do and you're supporting that in whatever way it is. It just feels like in, you feel yeah. in control. It's, it seems. Um, and I'm all about, I'm all about the control. So yeah. I'm so curious. <laughs> so how many, how many, it's four yeah. cycles, uh, so four you stages? Your menstrual phase, your follicular phase, your ovulatory phase, and of course um, your luteal phase. And so, Oh, no, no, you go 
Can right, you what's just, your question? Uh, yeah, go. <laughs> I was going to say, can you just tell me a little bit about yeah, each of those? So I think that's where you're at. Your menstrual phase is obviously the time when you get your period. Um, generally speaking, you know, that looks a little different for women, how long it lasts. Maybe it's three days, maybe it's four days, maybe it's two days, maybe you don't get your period. Um, and that is a whole other issue on its own. Um, but to keep in mind with the the phases. Uh, your follicular phase happens right after your period. It's kind of like, it's called inner spring where you feel kind of like reinvigorated. You feel like your energy, your hormones are like rising, you know? Um, and usually that lasts mm -hmm. um, between like seven to 10 ish days, depending on a couple of things. And then the next one is your ovulatory phase, which it was really fascinating to learn a lot of women. I, I know for me, like I thought the period was the grand finale of your menstrual cycle. It's like, yay, you got your period. But it's actually ovulation. Like that's the pinnacle of a woman's health is whether you're trying to conceive or not, mm -hmm. it's knowing that your body's creating progesterone. Progesterone has all these wonderful benefits, benefits to it. Um, it is truly like, again, I can't say it enough. It's like the pinnacle of women's health. So if you know you're ovulating, it's awesome. If you're not sure you're ovulating, again, that's another thing we have to go revisit. <laughs> um, and then right, then, right. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Mm. Okay. No, last you're, phase, you're, you're going to. Yeah. phase, which it happens before, it's after ovulation, before your period. Hormones are coming down. You tend to be more of like in a nesting mindset like you maybe don't want to do very many social things they call it like your inner autumn so just mm -hmm. you know you want to be all cozy sort of feeling yeah yeah okay so <laughs> say it again we start with <laughs> we start menstrual with phase. where do we start I guess it just okay but we start with the menstrual phase so yeah. we're actually releasing <laughs> at that phase They're down. hormones are down Okay, we, we don't, don't feel, feel good. We just, good. A lot of, yeah, we want to feel our best. We want to conserve our energy. We're moving, we're moving on the slow side. Our energy is low. Yep. Okay. And then and we go, phase. we get yes, high. Our levels <laughs> rise. They are the rise. Okay. 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 And 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 are we oh, still we rising in ovulation? ovulation. We peak because yeah. you said that that's the pinnacle of death. Okay. We peak at ovulation. Okay. So that's like we're at our high. And then and we start to phase. come down at yeah. luteal. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is fascinating. <laughs> Anybody in the chat, people that are watching, like, did you guys know that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I purchased a, I purchased a, um, I may have told you this. I purchased a program where it walked you through this and I just never completed it. Um, because yeah. I prefer things like this. But anyway, so if you know, if you knew this, drop it in the comments, because I'm just curious. Am I the only one that's, that this is new to? Um, okay, so you yeah. have a program that, do you walk women through? Tell me, tell us, I know yeah. you're not, like you're in your program now. You're, you're not, you haven't like relaunched. Okay, Jeeves <laughs> is with me. Jeeves is like, I ain't know all this. Okay, so you, you're launching later in the year, but just tell us a little bit about what your program involves yeah, so, so we can put it on our radar. The 100 day challenge. And so what you do is you give yourself 100 days to learn how to live silically. So you learn how to track your cycle. You um, start thinking about nutrition, like eating according to where you're at in your menstrual phase, as well as movement. Um, and so, yeah, I just... I guide women, you know, a lot of the first couple of times we meet, we talk a lot about like where they're at. Maybe they need help knowing even where they're at with their menstrual cycle. Um, we talk about the phase that they're in, what that looks like. And then we just go from there. We kind of build on that. And so that first month of the 100 days, the first 30 days, I guess, um, when they're tracking their cycle, that is kind of like, for me, that's the baseline. Like, I want to know what you know about yourself in this, in the first 30 days with you writing down how you feel every day. Um, maybe you're doing um, a fertility awareness method type of birth control if you're not on birth control, um, which means you're taking your temperature, you're checking cervical mucus. I wanna know what that looks like because that gives um, a better idea of where 
especially what your follicular phase is doing. Like your temperature changes throughout your whole menstrual cycle. So throughout the whole 28 days, mm -hmm. 33 days, whatever it changes. And it gives me a better idea of like, okay, she's having a seven day follicular phase. Um, she's ovulating on this day. She's her luteal phase is 10 days. It's, you know, it gives me a better idea of where you're at mm -hmm. with things. And so we just kind of build from there. And I think my goal is just to help women reconnect with themselves. And I want them to take charge mm -hmm. of their health. You know, I'm just, I'm just the guide on the side. Yeah. I'm rooting you on, like I'm cheering for you. And then I just, yeah, I want you, I want women to just love themselves. Yes. Yeah. Oh, speaking, yeah. <laughs> speaking to my soul today. <laughs> speaking to my soul. I just feel like we have given, in general, we, we have given healthcare providers far too much power. Like I have a ton of respect for them, especially coming out of this pandemic. Um, but, and especially because of this pandemic, like we sh should be taking control and ownership of our health. We should be understanding our bodies and doing everything that we can to support our own bodies and leaning into healthcare providers yeah. as needed, right? But there's so much that, that we can do ourselves if we just slow down, like slow down. Focus inward for a little bit. It doesn't take too long, right? To just, especially nowadays, like I feel like this type of education is at the, at just at the, what's what am I trying to say? Yeah. <laughs> at your I fingertips. You. <laughs> <laughs> so it's at your fingertips, right? Just push at the phone. You can, you can look up something like this and, and understand um, really how to, how to support your body. And I, I just, I just am such an advocate of that. And, it's, I think that's the reason why essential oils and doTERRA in particular um, hit hit me the way that it did because I was ready. I was at a phase in life where I was like, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. And let me tell you something. <laughs> um, after 40, I feel like I was turning 40 when I, when I was like, okay, we gotta get, it was just getting out of control. It's getting way out of control. <laughs> And I just feel like, um, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of, of, of these younger women that I'm seeing in their 20s and 30s who are taking control now because I wish I could go back and, and like smack the 28-year-old version of myself and like, because I was going through so many things emotionally that was so connected with my inner body. Like we just, we, my inner body, is that a word? My body, like we, we this yeah. mind-body connection is real. It is real and um, I wasn't taking care of my physical health and I was feeling it in my emotional health and my mental health and then that was impacting every single relationship I had and it's just done so much damage you know and I just wish I could go back and talk to that version of me and I can't but I can talk to the version of me <laughs> out here if you're exactly <laughs> And it's not too late, no matter how old you are, it's not too late to kind of get in control. I'm very curious because I'll be 45 next month. I'm traumatized by that. <laughs> so you're going to continue to hear me talk about it. Um, so I'm very curious to know, uh, have you studied like what happens when uh, women go into, start to change, Sorry, go yeah. into menopause? Um, I haven't specifically. Um, that is something I am working on um, in the next couple of months I'm going to be doing some additional getting an additional certification um, that dives deeper into hormones um, and so it will cover what perimenopause and menopause looks like in women what their hormones are doing um, yeah. so I am excited about that I have gotten that question a couple of times but yeah that's yeah. what I'm planning to do <laughs> yeah 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 it's, it's, it's interesting I mean because I can see and feel, I'm, I'm much, <laughs> geez, girl, you better get ready. Um, I am, my, because my cycle was so horrific, I always assumed that menopause would be, it would take me out. I was always very concerned. So I, that was part of the reason why I really wanted to try to get this in control earlier, like in my, in my early 40s. Um, now I'm looking forward to menopause, geez, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the freedom that that will bring. Um, and just like 
kind of stepping into my womanhood, right? Like this is this is what makes <laughs> us <Yeah>. women. Okay. <laughs> Um, so I'm, I'm kind of just like really looking forward to like stepping into that next phase in life. Um, so, so more to come on that. Anybody, anybody that's over 40, I will be talking, I will be sharing that journey with you. And I'm talking to a few people about, about that as well. Um, okay. So <laughs> I told you, fast. I told yeah. you 30 minutes goes by like this, didn't I? I told you it goes by super fast, super fast. So, um, so that's how she and I connected it was over dinner. And that's when she started telling me about her her business. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, do you use essential oils? Like you need, you need doTERRA in your life. And you were familiar with doTERRA, but um, tell me about, I saw you posted a little bit yet last or earlier this week about oils. What are your favorite essential oils to support your living in sync? Is you, six, six, I can't pronounce uh, it. You know, you're going to make me say it wrong. Silically. <laughs> yeah. Silically. How, what oils will help us so live? I, I mean, I think to each their own, but for me personally, I like to use use essential oils for my my mood, my energy levels throughout um, my menstrual cycle. I like, I love, I have um, the emotional essential oil rollerball pack. I love mm -hmm. that. Um, I've also I'm a big fan of clary sage as well. Um, matter of fact, maybe TMI. Mm -hmm. I started my period yesterday, and there are moments. It's always my goal. Because I do I have PCOS, um, I do have cysts, and so hmm. I do have pain at certain points. <laughs> so it's always my goal. I want to know, mm -hmm. like, okay, I want to not use ibuprofen, but I used that last night before I went to bed. I just gave myself an abdominal massage with the oil, and and I had it on my hand. So while I was sleeping, I was like this, <laughs> but the pain just goes mm -hmm. away. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Clary, Clary Sage, yeah. Clary Sage? I have used the Clary Calm Clary too before, mm -hmm. um, particularly, but I use mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Clary Sage, just the actual one. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the, phyto, the phytoestrogen as well, I use that. That is so great if you're mm -hmm. struggling with um, some estrogen dominance because you want to you wanna remove the excess estrogen out of your body, and phytoestrogens are great for doing that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's just mm -hmm. some of the products I love and use. So yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So Clary Comp for me, it's um I I I just I am with you. My goal when I first started was to because that like I said, ibuprofen for every four hours for the days leading up to my cycle and the days during my cycle. So that was like at, at least a minimum of seven days of pumping my body with ibuprofen. So even going down to one ibuprofen was better than nothing. But I spent a lot of time at the beginning of, of my doTERRA time, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how can I manage my cycle because I, I still do have pain. And I'm at the, this point because I feel good every day except for the days that I'm on my cycle. I, I just want yeah. to feel good. Like I want no pain yeah. <laughs> at all. <laughs> None. Like I can probably deal with it, but I just don't want to. I want to feel good every day, right? And so I spent a lot of time figuring out like what combination of oils work really well for me. So at the beginning when I was doing, came off of this, my of birth control, I was doing nothing but um, oils and herbs and natural things. I used the two phytoestrogen a day. And here was my cocktail. The moment my cycle came, because now I don't oh, get yeah. any lead up. Like I don't feel any, any pain before I would get cramps like for a week before, so I knew what was happening. Now I don't get any, I have to check. That's why I'm interested in living like this because I never really know if I have an app that tracks yeah. it and I'm like, that's how I know my cycle's coming. Anyway, I digress. So um, as soon as as soon as soon it arrives, I would take two deep blue polyphenol. You guys are familiar with deep blue polyphenol. And I would take three copaiba soft gels internally. I would do that immediately, no matter how I felt. I would do that immediately. And then I would oil up. So I would do uh, Clary Calm. Sometimes I will do just the plain Clary Sage. I would do Deep Blue. I would do um, <laughs> Copaiba, 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 which is so good for pain. And, and I would just like rest and put a heating pad on my stomach, give it like maybe just a couple hours. And usually I was good to go. Now, that my life was a little slower then. Now my life does, is not conducive to taking my cycle off, although 
maybe I can get back, back to that. There you maybe go. I can get <laughs> back to that, right? There you go. Because now I do, I'll take an ibuprofen. I'll take like one ibuprofen and then I'll do like three copaiba and I'm usually good, but I just don't want any pain and I want to just be able to keep to keep moving and I don't want to go through my stash of oils quite like I was before, but we'll get back there. We'll get back there. So um, I love it. I think it's important for people to know that there is a way that you can manage these things naturally. Um, we didn't even get into this. We'll talk about this. We're going to do a workshop. We're going to yeah. do a whole <laughs> workshop, right? Sure. Kaylee and I are talking about natural ways to, to um, really live in tune with our body and to support this process because we didn't talk about diet. We didn't talk about exercise. But when I came off my birth control pills, that's, that's what I read everywhere. Everyone I spoke to said, your diet has to be on point. Lots of dark, leafy vegetables. You got to be moving. You got to be taking care of yourself. It's all, it's all connected. There is no magical oil. There is no, <laughs> well, frankincense is pretty magical, but there's no magical oil. There is no magical supplement. It's a combination yeah. of all the things. And I just feel like this is such an amazing component to add to it. And I can't wait to like dig in and dive in and learn Me too. so much more. <laughs> okay. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. We don't have a date yet, guys, for our workshop. We're trying to work through that um, right now. So stay tuned. But know that more, more will come. Um, any final words, any tips for those if this is like brand new information oh, to any, any tips um, for if it's brand okay so i guess yeah i guess if you know if you're new newer to doTERRA um but also you want to do something if you're noticed you're having pain or cramps i would say right away the number one thing i would do is look at your personal hygiene products and if you have something that has tons of like chemicals in it like lotions body sprays and you don't know like okay where do i start first <laughs> Start removing and replacing those products with um, other natural solutions. doTERRA has awesome shampoos, conditioners. Mm -hmm. Like, I love also the body spray oil. I replace that. But you'll start noticing changes, too, when you take out those chemicals from your personal hygiene products and start using, using natural oils. Um, just a difference in general with your cycles and how you're feeling. Um, that's all I have to say. Mm -hmm. That, that's good because it's very much in line with my post this morning. If y'all watch my post this morning about them candles, and I had someone, um, <laughs> someone um, message me this morning. I don't know if British is still on, but she messaged me this morning, and she was like, um, she when she started with DoTerra, we talked about this, the, the chemicals and all the things, and then, and so she got rid of all of her candles and immediately transitioned to um, essential oils. And she said literally her cycle, which was not regular, she's in her 30s, her cycle was never yeah. regular, got regular immediately. It was an immediate thing. And I was like, I'm not, there is a thing I'm to not it. surprised. Yeah. <laughs> this is how it is. <laughs> to it. Something to it. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this Girl Talk Live today. And um, more to come, much more to come. I'm partnered up with Kaylee. And I think that a a lot of my friends and customers and um, business partners are really going to be excited to learn more as we delve we delve into this. So keep watching. Go follow <laughs> Kaylee. She, her content she cracks me up. Her reels are hilarious, and her content is point on. So go follow her and um, stay tuned for more. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for joining I me. <laughs> Tell your hubby I said hey. Maybe I'll yes. yep. <laughs> maybe I'll see you guys in April. <laughs> Bye. Okay. All right. Have a good one. Bye.